Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do an important session for SBI CBO 2022 exam. This is regarding the RBI circulars for the month of July and August 2022. Students, RBI circulars are very, very important for your exam. Very hi important. Hai. And trust me, last six months ka to bahut hi zyada important. Hai. You are going to find at least 10 questions from RBI circulars only and from this particular section maybe you are going to find two questions maybe let's start so I'm teaching the RBI circulars in the quiz format in the full course uh, jo monthly hum classes karte hain, those, in those classes circulars are available in the you know proper uh, descriptive uh, format right we explain the circulars then there are quizzes but here just to explain you the concepts Recently, RBI has asked the banks to test their no, uh, note sorting machines to ensure currency notes confirm to the prescribed parameters. So please read between the lines. The notes sorting machine, RBI has asked the bank branches, the banks to test their or to service their notes sorting machine. So when you go to a bank, there is a notes sorting machine in the cabinet in the cabin of uh, teller. RBI asked the banks to, to check uh, those machines on a quarterly basis, to service those machines on a quarterly basis. C is the correct answer. Okay. As per the RBI guidelines, within how many days non-PSO, non-bank PSO, non-bank uh, payment system operator uh, shall inform the RBI in case of change in management. Non-bank uh, PSO ka management mein koi change aata hai to within 15 calendar days they need to inform the RBI. Okay, that's very clear. 15 calendar days, please remember that. What is the last date to purge the COF data? Customer card credentials. See students in the past. What happened uh, when you, you know, when you try to make a payment on Amazon, they used to save your credentials, save your credit card number, uh, your name, and then, you know, you just need to fill in your CVV and you can process your transaction. But now the things have been changed. RBI said uh, it's not safe. RBI said it's not safe. RBI has asked all the, you know, uh, banks to delete that data. Now there is tokenization. When you now when you make a payment on Amazon on Flipkart on Mintra on Zomato, uh, what happens is they convert your information into a token. Okay, so if you save the same card on Amazon, and then if you save the same card on Flipkart, different tokens would be made, right. And uh, that token is saved by these uh, digital platforms. So by 30th of September 2022, this data should be deleted. The card details, card credentials should be deleted. Okay. And they need to save tokens. Let's move on to the next question. As per the latest RBI circulars, what is the maximum limit on individual borrowing? under the foreign exchange management borrowing and lending regulation 2022 ye pura quota hai individual borrowing ka people like you and me want to borrow from sources uh, overseas overseas sources lender se hum agar borrow karna chahte hain combined limit this is not just an individual i mean meri akele ki limit nahi hai it's the limit for all the individuals it is how much it is 1500 million us dollars this is the limit okay recently rbi allowed the small finance banks to operate as category one authorized dealer uh what is the condition for small finance banks to fulfill to operate as category one authorized dealers okay kaun kaun si condition uh jo hai fulfill karni padengi small finance banks ko category one authorized dealer banne ke liye so this is regarding the foreign exchange transaction, currency conversion, jo send karte hai, currency, all that. So what are the conditions to be filled, fulfilled by a small finance bank? Uh, you should read this. Minimum net owned fund ka requirement hai 500 uh, crore rupees. CRAR capital to risk weighted asset ratio should not be less than 15%. Non-performing assets should not uh, be more than 6%. Per, uh, 6% uh, that is CRAR should not be less than 15%. 
नॉन परफॉर्मिंग एसेट शुड नॉट बी शुड नॉट एक्सीड सिक्स परसेंट शुड हैव मेड प्रॉफिट इन लास्ट टू ईयर्स ओके दीज आर द फोर रिक्वायरमेंट्स दैट दैट अ मेजर रिक्वायरमेंट दैट अ यू नो स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक शुड हैव यू नो शुड हैव डन ओके so have completed uh, recently rb allowed uh, to operate uh, what is the condition that need to fulfill so these are not the conditions this is false 500 okay so two years uh, and the small finance bank should have completed two years operation as category 2 authorized dealer ye 6% hai that is why it's wrong this is 500 crore and this is 15% that is why it's wrong so c is the correct answer okay very important What is uh, which of the following entities are covered under Integrated Ombudsman Scheme 2021? Ah, uh, there are there are certain disputes between the bank customers, RRB customers, and uh, and the banks, right? Sometimes there are uh, you know charges, undue charges, some uh, fraud cases are there. So where should a bank customer go? For this banking ombudsman scheme is there. Which of the following organizations are covered under banking integrated ombudsman scheme? In case of any issue, in case of any complaint which is not resolved by the bank management, then you can go to the banking ombudsman. Ah, uh, you know of your locality, right? So, urban cop scheduled ah uh, primary urban cooperative banks RRB and commercial banks were already included. These three organizations were include uh, included kind of organizations. now credit information companies are also included in uh, integrated ombudsman scheme 2021 okay as per the latest rbi circular which of the following criteria should be fulfilled by district central cooperative banks for opening of branches extension counter specialized branches regional offices zonal offices administrative offices shifting of branches updation extension counters so what are the requirements a licensed dccb should have completed at least 3 years of operations pehle to 3 saal ka operation ho jana chahiye right so uh, crar should not be less should not be less than 9% no default in maintaining crr slr in the preceding financial year net npa should be less than 5% so all these are conditions please remember that uh should have completed 3 years of operation crar not less than 9% no default in maintaining crr slr npa should be less than 5% then you can open new branches no issues okay so students that was a pretty short session in in such a short session i have covered the rbi circular quizzes i explained the rbi circulars in a very easy language easy to understand if you are unable to uh, understand any concept there is a comment sec uh, section where you can ask your questions and i'm here to answer your doubts So SBI CBO 2022 course we are doing in which we are providing complete syllabus coverage with video classes notes it's a self paced course uh, with systematic plan study material notes special classes for descriptive paper and proper doubt clearing sessions are there so in case of any doubt my whatsapp number is there uh, 9067201000 this is my personal number send me your doubts i'm going to answer all your doubts okay so list of our successful students in the in the recent rrb scale 2 scale 3 exam the syllabus is quite similar to cbo uh, for 2020 2021 2019 all these students that took our courses in the past and they crack their respective exams and now it's your turn and yes you can do this in case there is any doubt i am here to answer all your doubts that's my job right drop me a whatsapp message and let me answer your doubts subscribe the channel and like this video that's really really important for me ask your doubts i'll answer it thank you and have a very nice day bye bye